the Hidden Princess. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Marigold. She was an only child born to a mother and father who wanted her very much. Sadly, the girl's father died at sea when she was very young, leaving her alone with her mother. The mother and the young girl lived happily in their home by the sea until the day her father's will was delivered. Father left everything to his young daughter, leaving mother without a penny to her name. Mother was incredibly jealous and began to plan how she would take over the fortune. To take care of the home, the mother hired a maid. Eventually, the maid discovered the daughter's wealth and began to steal from them slowly. Marigold liked the maid, but she felt a bit uneasy around her and she couldn't figure out why. One day, Marigold went into the bedroom in search of her mother. She quickly discovered the maid pocketing pieces of her jewelry. The maid ran straight to the woman of the house to make sure she didn't know what Marigold saw. My lady, I've cleaned the bedrooms and waxed the floors in the kitchen. Very good. Have you seen my daughter, Marigold, this afternoon? No, ma'am. Why do you ask? She runs around this home filled with happiness and without a care in the world. It's disgusting. I thought you loved your daughter. One day a long time ago, I felt love for her. But now her wealth overshadows my own, and that love turned to jealousy and hate. Ah, I see. I too hate the girl. Then we have an understanding. Perhaps the girl could disappear. I like the way you think. Let's banish her from the kingdom. She'll never be heard from again. Brilliant. Ma'am, your daughter will come to you with stories about me, but I must tell you... No need. I know her words are lies. She cannot convince me of anything bad, let alone something about you. You've been nothing but honorable and helpful to me. Back from her afternoon walk, through the berries, Marigold arrived in the kitchen. Mother, I picked you a basket of raspberries. They're delicious. They're vile and dirty. You mustn't play in the fields. I can clean them and we can eat them. They'll be wonderful as a jam. Take the basket from her. You heard me. No more playtime in the fields. Yes, Mother. Can I speak to you about something? Alone? Anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of our maid. I found our maid stealing from us. No. Yes, she took your jewelry, and I think she's been stealing food and money for months. How dare you? I agree. No, daughter. How dare you? Our maid has been nothing but helpful and courteous. What a shame you can't see that, and you instead choose to spread these lies. They aren't lies. You have to believe me. No, I won't hear another word of it. Straight to your room. You bring shame upon our family with your stories. Marigold ran into her bedroom. <laughs> After a few moments, the maid burst through the door. Before Marigold could say anything, the maid grabbed her by the arm and pulled her off of the bed. She tossed her into the back of the carriage and drove off. Soon, they arrived at the edge of town. Marigold got out of the carriage quickly. Your mother has decided to get rid of you. She doesn't want you any longer, girl. You're tiresome and nothing but trouble. She's asked that I banish you from the kingdom, but I have another plan instead. I'm going to throw you into the bottom of this well. So you'll never be able to escape. Please, no! <laughs> it's too late. The maid dragged Marigold to the edge of the well and pushed her in. Marigold fell a great distance before 
miraculously, landing on a couch. She stood and looked around. It appeared to be a living room. Ouch! Why is there a room at the bottom of the well? Suddenly, three great dragons appeared. Who enters our realm? Show yourself, or we'll light you on fire. I am Marigold. I mean you no harm. Marigold told them her story. The dragons were fascinated. I'm so sorry about your mother. You can stay with us. We'll keep you safe. So Marigold lived with the dragons and did not try to escape. A few days later, the maid came to draw water from the well. Is that the maid who threw you in? Yes, she is evil. Does she know you're alive? No, but she will. Hello, maid. Give love to my mother. Marigold? You're okay? What news? I'll let your mother know right away. Ma'am, I must admit, I did not banish your daughter. I trapped her at the bottom of a well. I'm sorry. I wanted her to be gone without a chance to come back. You tricked me. She is not hurt, but she may escape. This cannot be. I must do something. The woman called on an evil old friend, a fairy who could cast terrible spells. These almonds are laced with a terrible poison. They will render your daughter unable to move. She won't be able to escape the well. The maid took the almonds and set off for the well. Oh, Marigold, here, your mother sent you almonds to eat while you wait for her to come save you. These will be delicious. Let me smell those. Poison. Dastardly, she's trying to poison you. Do not eat the almonds. Pity. I thought my mother might be kind for once. Maybe next time. The next morning, the maid returned for more water and expected to see Marigold asleep from the almonds. Hello, maid. Give love to my mother. No, it can't be. Panicked. The maid returned to the woman. Ma'am, I'm sorry to say, Marigold did not eat the almonds. A treacherous young girl. I'll call on my friend once more. I have crafted a red dress that will render Marigold unable to move. Once she's wearing it, she will definitely be unable to escape the well, as she'll be in a deep, deep sleep. The maid took the red dress and set off for the well. Marigold, your mother sent you this beautiful red dress to wear. It will keep you warm while you wait for her to come save you. Marigold took the red dress in her hands. She loved it. Perhaps my mother is finally being kind. The dragons have been so wonderful to me. I will wear this beautiful dress as a surprise. Marigold tried on the dress and immediately fell into a deep, deep sleep. Soon, the dragons arrived and found her lying on the couch. Our Marigold, she's fallen ill. No, friend. I believe she's gone. 
She's been taken too soon. This isn't fair. Let's have a burial for her. The old way. She'll be sent on to the beyond with honor. We'll meet at the sea. The dragons flew Marigold to the sea. They built a boat and placed her in it, lighting lanterns and sending her off into the water like a fallen warrior. They wept. The boat floated until it reached a rock wall. As it hit the wall, the sound alerted a young man in the window of a castle. He sent for the boat, and Marigold was brought to him. Marigold laid still. Quickly, the prince and his maid tried to determine if Marigold was still alive. She's cold. It must be the wet dress. Let's change her and see if we can warm her up a bit. Then, we can ask her where she came from and why she's on a warrior's boat. They brought her behind a screen and took off her dress, replacing it with a beautiful gown. At that moment, Marigold awoke. Where am I? You're in my kingdom. You've been placed under a terrible spell, apparently made possible by that beautiful dress. Now, you have another beautiful dress, and you are an honored guest in my castle. What's your name? Marigold. Marigold, a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Marigold learned that the young man was a prince and was in line for the crown. She told him her story. Marigold was stunningly beautiful, and he fell in love with her immediately. They soon planned a wedding, but Marigold was concerned about her mother. Don't worry, I'll invite your mother and the maid to the kingdom and pretend to ask for your hand. Instead of asking their permission, I will banish them for their terrible deeds. And my dragons? What will happen to them? They can have a spot in my kingdom for all eternity. After all, they saved you. The mother and the maid arrived at the kingdom, surprised to be invited. I'd like to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. I do not have a daughter any longer. She mysteriously disappeared. Hello, mother. No, this is not possible. It is possible. She was saved by three dragons who have been given incredible honors in my kingdom. And as for you two, you've been banished, never to return. You are dastardly women, and we never wish to see you again. You'll pay for your deeds for all eternity. Marigold's mother and the maid left the kingdom in shame, and they were never seen again. In happiness and love, the prince and Marigold lived in harmony with their dragons and fortune for the rest of time. <laughs>